how to make a sticky sidebar while scrolling on your page using Elementor. This is great for blogs. So this is my blog, as you see, and I want this sidebar where I say hi and my name, you know, and the short introduction about me, you know, the picture and my social media icons. But I want it to not scroll up. I don't want it to disappear. I want it to stay sticky. How do we do that? Let me show you. So I go in into my page. So this is uh, OK. I go to the archive template that I have created. This is the area. This is the element or the column that I wanted to be sticky, but it's not going to work like that. Just by having a single column, it's not going to work. We need the inner section widget or element, and it's something that it's also available on the free version of Elementor. So you can do that even if you have the free Elementor. So I'm just going to take that and drag it and I'm going to try and make it put it inside the column. And I don't need two columns. It automatically creates two columns. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm just right click and delete it. So we are going to keep this one. Now I'm going to drag and drop all those elements that I have into this new column. So see this one, I'm just going to drag it and put it there and the image there. Uh, you can do that also if you use the navigator, which I am using the navigator at all times. And so I can just do it like this uh, or maybe, you know, under the image. Yeah. Uh, oops, it didn't work like I wanted it to work. Uh, so, OK, yeah. Well, you can sort them out later, so I'm going to sort them out now. Uh, yep. Uh, no. Uh, well, OK picture maybe the text looks better on top i'm gonna leave it like that right so now that everything is here right now i'm going to click on the section here you can click on the inner section here and we go to advanced settings and we go to motion effects and we go to sticky and we select top and here we get the option. Do you want it to be sticky on desktop, laptop, tablet or mobile? Well, I don't want it to be sticky on mobile or tablet because I don't have it on the side. It goes, you know, under it, under the whole blog post, blog post list. Uh, but now it's sticky. Let's see what happens. It, you see, it got sticky, but I don't want it to blend in with the rest of the website. So I'm going to put offset here. Uh, like 250, not 2000, 250. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and now it stays there. Also, there is this one stay in column, which I want it to be activated. Yes, so that it if let's say you have a different uh, section in the bottom, it will stop moving or it will continue to move. It will not blend in with something else. Well, on this page, I don't have anything else, but like here, you see, it goes up. So if you had something else, it might interfere with the design. So you want it to be in column. And let's say I'm going to update it and let's see how it looks like in real view page. Uh, let's clear the cache also. Uh, yep. So if we start to scroll up, it's Perfect. It stays sticky. And that's how you make a sticky sidebar for your blog. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you managed to do it. And uh, you can just put a link also of your website uh, to see what you have done. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.